Alright guys, welcome to another episode of my Survival World series, and I found a village, and after dilly dallying around the village for a bit, I came up across the first golem on my world. Just strolling about outside when nobody else is trapped inside their buildings. And who knows what. <laughs> okay, we'll leave him be. Um, where am I? Hard to really say. Um... I went back to the base by backtracking the 1.8 base. Um, then I went backwards from the mountain. Like, if you look, go from my melon farm to my wheat farm to my chicken farm and head out, you go the direction that I went. I reached the end. Um, there was a river, and I followed that. And along the right, uh, along the left of the river, there's a jungle. And on the right was a taiga forest. And then the taiga forest turned into a desert, which I'm in now. This is a, a second river. river. But the, uh, that river is way, way over there. Jungle uh, The river continues along through the jungle biome. actually goes to the middle of it. And that's where I was, fa was, what I was following was the whole river. But it didn't go anywhere interesting just the plains so I went back and then I wanted to check out this desert because NPC villages are more rare in deserts that's a swamp biome not buildings but and then at the end of it the very end because there's a taiga forest right there um, it's possible stuff's over this direction of the desert but as far as this corner goes, it is a corner. And I found this village. And the first night, uh, the first day, I lit up a bit, but I couldn't get enough done. Uh, I started building a sand wall, too, to help keep the mobs away. And there is a base, a mini one, right over there. Beneath the uh, desert hill, right by the swamp biome. Um... It should be for far enough away that this would be deloaded and mobs will not spawn in this area. So my villagers are safe. But in the end, I decided to just lock them in their house when night came. That's what I did. I have a base going. I ran out of torches, so I started lighting up with jack-o'-lanterns. Um, where's the farms? Yeah, here we go. The farms lit up with jack-o'-lanterns in the corners of the wood. But this village is pretty sweet because we have five different villagers in this village from the very start. It's pretty sweet without having to put more doors down to get more villagers. We have the priest right there. Um, he's talking to the blacksmith, actually. No, he's talking to a normal villager. We have... I forget what... The white apron guys are, but I think they're bakers. Something like that. And you have the farmers, the common farmers are everywhere. But that's four. It's becoming night time. Yeah, places like these are closed. Most of the village is lit now. It's not completely sand buried off. Um, the sand barrier is very temporary. So don't worry about that. I had big plans for this village, expand it, to cover large grounds with it, and go along the river, um, where there is another village that's highly inhabited. So we had three in there, the, mm, the priest, the baker, and the farmer, um, we also had the fully white clothed guy which I'll say is the librarian maybe I don't know two more farmers so that's four and we have a blacksmith somewhere as well are you in here quit looking at each other turn around are you the are you the blacksmith I don't know but we finally have some help no wait is the blacksmith over here? 
You are over here. There he is. You can see his black apron right there. And we have another... white apron guy right there as well. So five villagers and one. The one you're missing is the... F what are you doing? <laughs> he was dancing right there. Okay. But the one you're missing is... It lo he looks like a farmer, the priest, and what I call the librarian, but he's fully clothed in green. And his title is called the villager. Actu is an actual villager called a villager. <laughs> but yeah, there we there you go. I could jump on the roof apparently, which is unlit. But we have a church, houses, farms, blacksmith, and a library, which is how we got all the village, all of the uh, places, all the people. Hello. Gonna nod at me, I'll nod back. <laughs> but yeah, that's a quick update to see the uh, progress with the village so far. This is untouched chest. And, well, it's mostly untouched. There's a barrier, a mine that I started digging for the coal because I ran completely out. And,. I just want to edit this and I want to get a little quick update and what's in store for the future going. Um, but there's also some exciting things this way. One of these ways. I heard mo lava or something, I don't know. Um, where is it? But there's a abandoned mine shaft, and I want to show you it. It's different from 1.1 and 1.8 shafts, which is why I want to show it to you. Um, 1.2 shafts have a different feel to it now. That's my way out, so I guess it must be this way, after all. Oh yeah, we have a ravine here. Oh, that's where it is. Ravine. I've always wanted to colonize a ravine. Um, I was su partially successful once before, but didn't really go that well. Uh, no, kind of lost interest. Empty chest. Um, but what I want to show you is up, I think. Up still, maybe? Um, yes. This way. Cave spider spawner. Another one. Um, this is as far as I got without torches. Um, pretty big room over here. And floating tracks that I do not want to update at all. So these look really cool. I kind of want to make, want to make this the uh, villagers mine. Get some blacksmiths down here. You know if I have to kill or other ones to get a, get them down. Uh, make this a blacksmith area. But what I wanted to show you in the mines that's different is not the floating checks. That looks weird. No, no, no more wood. All my saplings are up above. But, do I have blocks? Okay. This looks weird. There's another one of these things. Huh. Okay, let's get out of here now. But, and that's why this is also weird, because this should not be generating anymore. Um, well, it looks like two... That might be what's going on here. Two abandoned mineshafts are intersecting each other. 
Which, if that's the case, it might lead to some crazy cave spider action being close together. I can't even get through. It's too dark. I'll explore this off camera, but what I want to show you is that if there is a gap, and normally this part of the the, the uh, pillars will be floating in midair, now wooden wooden planks replace. That's kind of tough to see in the dark. Dang it! I want to show this here. We have some light here, but normally these are in 1.8 and 1.1, these would be floating. What the? What updated? Oh man, I'm, <laughs> this is haunted. But these have been normally floating, but now if it senses an air block beneath it, it will create wooden planks instead. And this is a ravine. So it, the uh, abandoned mine shaft is not floating in midair anymore. At least if it's not like intersecting each other or some crazy stuff that I apparently have going on. Whoa, this place is massive. Oh, I know why. I'm on peaceful because of the redstone test world. Just got done recording the tutorial this morning. But this abandoned shaft is all over this ravine, which is awesome. I don't want to remove a single cobweb or anything, except maybe near the spawners. But let's check out this chest before I begin work on the village. Because I've been wanting to do that. Dang it. Because <laughs> so I've been wanting to uh, edit the village for a while. Let's get this light to update. There we go. Let's see. This is solid now. And I don't want to really ruin it. So... We can loot the chest though. Two diamonds, oh yeah. And melon seeds, which I have some already. Oh yeah, that's what, that was in the that one chest. This, this, this. Um maybe a few bits of coal or iron. I see no more cave spiders though. But I'm gonna have fun colonizing this. Things like Spare wood and stuff like that's gonna go. Um, a lot of the dirt will go. Things like that. Um, now I'm kind of lost in here. It's kind of cheating to do this on peaceful, but don't worry, I'd, I'd turn it to hard. And I'll be on hard when I have torches and I'm lighting, lighting this all up. Which I would, which requires the surface anyways. So, quite excited for this uh, project. I, I don't remember being excited for this. Um, one reason I'm doing it is for the aesthetics. Yeah, there's definitely two ravines, uh, two places intersecting because this should be all flat and dirt but instead here's a mine shaft running right through it it's a weird flat rooms but not flat anymore so uh, I'll find my way out of here begin working on the project on hard uh, I was protecting the mo uh, mobs from zombies I am lost. Dang it. Well, I'll leave you in this cobweb, and I'll be back after the break. Which might be a while, for me, at least. Alright, another update. Um, I have to be honest, I caved. Um... Finding a stronghold frustrated me. Um, 
I used the Ender Pearl. Uh, found the one that was supposed to be in one point. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Gotta do that. But I was supposed to find one near, well, actually right in between my 1.7, 1.8 lands. But that was pre-generated, so of course there's no stronghold there. And I ran around all the ender pearls I drew led to that exact same spot from the NPC village, from way over in the opposite end of the world from where I am now. Could not find one. So I kid and used the searcher uh, program, which will be in the description below, to help me find one. There's already mob spawning. Gotta be careful. And I found one. However, the other two that the program found, because it only found three, but the other, the other two it found were in pre-generated land, so I could not get those strongholds at all. This is the only stronghold left in this world, since I believe that I don't get it infinitely either. Because it only listed three when it listed about a ton of village a ton of villages, but I'm not using that to find them and surprisingly structures I built myself were counted as a village as well. So some weird stuff, but I found one. Um where I am at is actually very close to pre generated land as well. Um one point if this torch is 1.8 lands, and that's 1.7, and then that uh, that bridge is connecting between the two. If you continue along this direction, about the same distance, and then continue... And then continue left, make a left turn, you'll go through, like, swamp. And then find this little desert. And then there's a little jungle. It's at the very end of pre-generated land. Um, it ends abruptly. And then that's where you turn left. Is when you start. When you see that abrupt chunk air. And then. Then you pass the other chunk air. Going. From my left to right. And then. Just a few. Like maybe a hundred or two more blocks. You come up to the desert where the stronghold is and the test to make sure that it did actually come up. I did dug dig down and found it. The first block I actually dug was silverfish, which is pretty bad. But I found it, though it's not the end portal yet, and let's actually not do that, dang it. <laughs> uh, but this but since this is the first stronghold and the only one I could ever get on my world from what I've seen unless there's an update or something that changes but I wanted to explore this on camera and check out what's going on here um, I'm well equipped for this journey, as you could see. I brought seeds, I brought grass. <laughs> very, very useful stuff. Um, that journey is so long, I almost ran out of food. Especially since I started at my NPC village, so it's very, very far away. Um, I really need another portal to the NPC, but it actually is kind of close. I do want that block. Is that silverfish? It is silverfish. We we'll use. Dang it! Cannot waste these blocks. Saplings. I don't want to waste saplings either. Saplings are awesome, but let's explore. Um, I did come in here for a brief minute. Staircase nowhere. Okay. Good. We have a start. And I came to here before I realized I have no torches. 
Um, somebody keeps beeping me, messaging me. Sorry about that. Oh dear. You seem to like to break through doors even when there's no reason to break through them. I hear silverfish. Oh! I see them too. Yay! Yes! Need 11 of them. That's no problem. I actually have a ton of them. Ooh. Stupid! No! Oh, so close! Too close. We have a ravine. It's a library floating in it. Quit bashing on the doors. And the silverfish. Holy cow. That's a lot. Let's just open the doors so they don't bash down. Bash them down. Let's see if we can't find chests or something. We found the fountain room. Uh, this is a good sized stronghold. I was worried for a minute because the few previous strongholds I found on SMP worlds have been very, very small. Why do they like breaking it down? What are they hunting down? Is there a village underneath here? Dang it. Quit. For breaking them down. But look at all these mossy stone. Enderman right in, right in the stronghold. Lots of crazy stuff going on in here. What I want to avoid is something like that. I was just about to say that too. I do not want creepers blowing up the rare the rarest blocks I have. Where did he go? There we go. Thank you, Power Bow. Dang it. Get close to the door. Okay. There we go. But, uh, progress on my village is going really well. It's very far away, though. A normal cave, apparently. I'm gonna leave that be. But, the, uh, town walls are nearly finished. The jail cells are broken down. I don't really want to fight them right now. But yeah, it's going pretty well. Um, I do want to focus on aesthetics more. I... Yeah, I really need to work on them and it's just something I want to do. We've been down here. Is this just a circle? Yes it is. No it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> but yeah, aesthetics are important to me now. Um, I was thinking about actually starting up or restarting a Skyblock series, except in uh, creative mode, Skyblock Creative. Because that's like the ultimate form of 
Aha! Not bad. But Skyblock is like the ultimate form of aesthetics. So that's something I want to learn. And that's like a good place to uh, do it in. Oh. Okay, I'm down here. And it's two more jail cells. This is one crazy one. Oh, what's this? Aha, a ravine. Hmm. The ravine stole some of my blocks. And I could use that data changer. But, I don't know. Is there something about it? Diamonds. I need to enchant a new fortune pick though. Get out of my life. Thank you. Because this one is nearly dead. And this, these diamonds are right over lava. Any mobs after me? Yes? No! No! Stop! Dang it! No! I wanna hit it. Five, not T. I wanna get my axe out. Why? What's all the spiders? And did I hear a slime? I felt like I heard a slime. I did. I'm gonna run out of torches. Full sack of coal. Which is originally invested to go to... Now that's scary. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> it was just, just like a bunch of green stuff falling. I'll take the experience though. Oh, nope, that was another, another slime. This is crazy caves and stuff going on though. Let's get back to the stronghold. Just right down there. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of caving on this world too, which is kind of relaxing. Um, I find that it does use a lot of torches. Like, massive amounts actually. But hey, let's get this diamond. And for that, we'll need... Something like this. Yes. Torch on the last spot. Fortune this one up. Three. Two. Two. One. Not bad at all. Eight.
sometimes I feel like I'm just hearing iron golem noise without any real reason to. Full circle, all right. Okay, it seems to be an end of the stronghold. Oh. There we go. We do have more up here. I know there's more to this place. No, not fortune. Dang it. Ah, I don't want to waste that. I have to do some more XP grinding, and that's not what I want. But that's one of the reasons why I want to get to the end is for an Enderman farm. Um, there's no other reason to go to there. I hate the boss fight more than others at least I feel like I do but turns out many others hate it too um, some of us find it boring I just hate the idea in general but it has to be done and that dragon has to die aha uh -huh. oh whoa The end portal is in right in middle of a ravine. That's has to be unique. <laughs> I like it. Decent, I guess. I'm not looting the chest right now because, as you can see, I have no room to, and. They're all, all they're kind of meh anyway. Large room. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, this is the ravine. Um. Oh, it's a floating library. <laughs> nice. I like it. Pre-lit and everything. Let's get over there to that enderman. Light it up. Let's hope nothing knocks me off. Stop. I want to shoot your... Oh dear. Smart Skelly. I almost don't want to tear this place down. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Goes down to nothing. And I'm out of food. So I'm in trouble. I do have plenty of bone meal though. So I could probably grow some bread real fast before I leave this place. Or before I make my big journey. There is some floor to this library. A map. A map? What? <laughs> the very first original map, the copycat in the special chest, which is right by my one my very first base. That's cool. 
Never would have expected that. Actually, I've never even seen a map in a stronghold before. Let's use the last of these sticks, even though we have 10 more coal. But I've never seen a map. That's crazy. Oh! Here we go. Sometimes the power bow is one shot, sometimes it's two. I gotta figure out the difference. And it's not really zombies are two and others are one. It's a mix. More circles, more spiders. Um, glitched out torch. Lava noises, that's interesting. But we found more stronghold. The bigger this is, the happier it makes me. So we have a full size stronghold in our world. Finally. After all that exploring, I think I deserve to use the tools to do more exploring to make my world so much more bigger. Um, I'm not going to use things like that to find a mushroom biome. At least not yet. I have absolutely no need to see one of those places. I don't want my Cleum. Like, I can't imagine a project where I would want that in the first place. Did I explore everything? Yes. Um, and in this part anyways. That's just a dangerous hole. You found the library entrance, the map chest, the end portal. I hate that one single block of wood I have. Uh Here we go. We have our portal. Um, the main project I'm going to work on now is finish up the village. Um, only the inside. Um, I actually have one of each spawner beneath in that in that cave system. So I might make a cave spider system because I haven't yet in this world. That was stupid. Doesn't seem like it mattered though. That's a bad place to be with silverfish on you. Aha. Nothing. Leave me alone, silverfish. Here we go. More. Wood. Oh, another library. Thought that was a mine shaft for a second. Wonder if there's another map in here. hope for no creepers. Nope, no maps. I should make maps of everything. Might be easier to explain where it is. Oh. The ravine is a ravine and it goes to the surface. Sneering day. All right. Is there a way up here? Where's the ladder? Lad ladder. Here it is. There's a chest up here too, right? No? Oh, there it is. More books, papers, supplies, more floating torches. I think that's complete stronghold. I like it. It's a nice size. 
it's not overly complex. It's not um, just covered in caves, but it does not have no caves either. Um, I, it, it sounds weird. But my way out is close by, I think. Yep, here it is. So, um, yeah, I like it. I like how this stronghold turned out. I'm glad that one of the three is available in my world. And sadly, the other two are not. If it's still infinite, I know we would have to find out at some other point because according to the map I use, it's not. There's the stronghold right there. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, and I can't jump because I get into get in the vine block. <laughs> Well, this is a fail. There we go. But yeah. I'll catch you in the next update. And I'll uh, show you the city, actually. the uh, My progress on the village. But... What do I want now? Um, I'm not sure what to do. What about this and how far it is away? Because that that is a long run. Um, I'll have to think about how to incorporate this long distance stronghold in my world somehow. And think about how to connect all the new areas we have. The NPC village, this place, things like that. Although the NPC village is actually much closer than I thought. Um, I did a lot of roundabout traveling, that's why. But I'm happy about that. But I'm not happy about the stronghold situation we have on this world. Um, not very forward compatible. These past, uh, since 1.8, it hasn't been that forward compatible. Which makes me sad. But, nothing I can really do about it. Except, find it using a program. Yep, that's the only way to figure it out. Um, thanks for... And... No! Why did I do that? I am distracted. But I think I'll leave the tour for the next episode. Because this is getting kind of long, I believe. But yeah, I'll just give you a hint that it's going pretty well. Um, thanks for watching. This is Dungan. See ya!